And then we also love the wiggle feet. So this is a great tool for kids who kick their feet around a lot. We see that a lot, or yep. they are up out of their seats a lot. They need to move, they need to move their legs and, and kind of walk around. This is kind of a chance for them to get that same kind of input while they're remaining in their seat and hopefully paying better attention to the work that they're doing at their desk. Hey everyone, it's Chris from Flaghouse, and this week I'm here with Claire Heffron from the Inspired Treehouse on the Flaghouse Sensory Channel, and we're gonna be looking at something we've talked about before on the channel, but we're gonna get Claire's take on it too. This is alternative seating. So Claire, tell me a little bit about alternative seating and what some of the benefits are. Yeah, sure. So we actually did a big survey with our readers at the Inspired Treehouse a few years ago, asking them what they saw were the most beneficial reasons for using alternative seating options in the classroom. And they reported that they noticed better attention and focus in their students in the classroom, less restlessness, and just general overall increased participation, which is what every teacher is looking for and every therapist is looking to promote. And we know as therapists and professionals that physical activity is correlated with higher academic performance and better concentration, better overall health. And so we know that that's already a positive thing that we're, we're giving kids when we're using alternative seating in Absolutely. the classroom. Those are all things that you want. Right. So the question is, how do you introduce this into the classroom? Sure, so a big thing that we always talk about whenever we're using any kind of sensory tool is to clue kids in on why you're using it. And I think it's really important to note that even kids that you think might be too young to understand it, actually have a much better understanding of their bodies and their sensory systems than we give them credit for. So introducing them in a way that lets kids know, again, why you're using them. So if we're using a tool that helps them get a little bit of extra movement in their seat, why? Well, that's because it stimulates your vestibular sense and some, some people need more movement to learn than others. So we're kind of giving them the, the reasoning behind the tools that we're using and that helps with buy-in and it also definitely helps with making sure that the tools become a tool instead of a toy or a distraction. Absolutely. So what are some of your favorite seating options that you use? Yeah, so some of the ones that we use all the time are the wiggle seats because they are very non-distracting non items. They're kind of low profile, you can place them on the seat and they don't draw kids' attention away from what they're doing, but they really do provide just, a little, just enough movement and enough chance to move their bodies that they can help them focus and attend better on the tasks that they're doing in the classroom. And then we also love the wiggle feet. So this is a great tool for kids who kick their feet around a lot, we see that a lot, or yeah. they are up out of their seats a lot, they need to move, they need to move their legs and, and kind of walk around. This is kind of a chance for them to get that same kind of input while they're remaining in their seat and hopefully paying better attention to the work that they're doing at their desk. Excellent. Claire, thank yeah. you so much for taking us through alternative seating and some of your favorite tips. Mm -hmm. Of course, there is a blog post at the Inspired Treehouse. We're going to put a link down in the description so you can check that out to get all the information that you want. While you're down there, make sure you click subscribe for the Flaghouse Sensory Channel. We always have brand new videos every week with experts like Claire, so we hope you guys will stay tuned. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.